My friends, it's always special to be at our much-loved Australian War Memorial. I return again and again to favourite corners. Every time there's something new to see and to learn. This grand photograph evokes treasured memories of my visits to our troops at Tarrant Afghanistan has a dramatic landscape, forbidding mountains, deep valleys, freezing in winter with ice, snow, mud, fiercely hot, dusty and volatile in summer. It's been a privilege for me to meet the men and women who serve there, to see our modern Anzacs in the field. Professional skill, training, discipline, commitment and yes, bravery. They distinguish the Australian Defence Force. But, but there's something more. We call it the Anzac spirit, that intangible force that is their inspiration. I have seen it over and over again in Tarrant Kandahar, Timor-Leste, the Solomons. Toughness, mateship, teamwork. I see it too in our veterans, always positive always courteous, sometimes a little cheeky, and I like that. It has meant so much to me to travel with some back to their past, to Sandakan with Russ Ewan and Bunny Glover in 2010. On Anzac Day 2011, I walked with Tom Uren, Cyril Gilbert, Lex Arthurson and Bill Schmidt through the steamy intensity of Hellfire Pass on the notorious Thai Burma Railway. My companions spoke softly there of the friends they lost, their closeness to those who survived with them. I watched tears falling on their cheeks. I have shared poignant reminiscences with our rats of Tobruk, their camaraderie, their respect for each other shining through. They loved to get together and it touches my heart to be in their midst. Letters from our vets give me a deeper understanding of sacrifice, of the values we hold dear, about character, selflessness, integrity. Rarely is there talk about the privations that they endured in dark places like Hellfire Pass, Sandakan, Tobruk, Vietnam, Orisgan. Uppermost always, their sorrow for lost mates, compassion for those who came home wounded. And when I thank them for what they did for our country, it's always the same response, a self-effacing sort of shrug. We take enormous pride as we watch them on Anzac Day, in the jeeps, looking so dignified and sprightly in their caps and slouch hats, responding to affection from the crowds. They embody the Anzac spirit for all of us. My friends, the investiture of three Victoria Crosses, Trooper Mark Donaldson in 2009, Corporal Ben Robert Smith in 2011, and Corporal Daniel Kieran last year, presented our nation with the finest examples of courage and humility. I admire the way these ordinary yet outstanding men act as advocates for the continuing care of their mates injured in Afghanistan and support for their families. That is an important responsibility for us all to remember today. Anzac Day is a time for reflection, for gratitude, for love, lest we forget.